Wednesday and I've been in the south of France now for nearly two weeks. I'm in Cannes in my beautiful family's apartment that I adore with all my heart. This will be the third vlog of my trip and the last one for this trip. This one is kind of exciting and different to my other two vlogs because I'm now here on my own. So my mom left yesterday at lunchtime so it's just me by myself now for the next three days until Friday evening when I leave to go back home. So I thought I'd do a fun little vlog of me living in the south of France truly by myself. This is my first time I've ever done this. I don't know, I love to travel and I do really love doing things on my own, but I do obviously get nervous traveling on my own. So this is a nice start to, I think, get me comfortable with the idea of traveling on my own to new places. At least this is a familiar place for me and I know what I'm doing and where I'm going. But yeah, that's what's happening. I'm all by myself. Who decided to leave me alone? I have no idea. How my mom allowed this is barbaric. I am not supposed to be left in super bad. Oh, nearly flashed you. Nearly flashed you. So I'm about to go down to our little local bakery. It's literally like a minute, not even, I wouldn't even say a minute walk. I'd say a 30 second walk away from my apartment. So I'm gonna go down there now and grab some breakfast for myself. <laughs> currently 10 to 12 and it's about time I get outside for the day. I don't really know what I'm feeling like doing today. I think right now I'd love to just walk through some of the shops and just have a wander and then figure it out. I might end up having a beach day. I might end up walking for a while. I don't really know. So I'm not gonna put too much restriction on myself. I think this evening though I would like to make dinner here. I might stop at the grocery store on my way back and buy a few bits and pieces and maybe make something. <laughs> but yes, as I was saying, I think I'm gonna go to the grocery store, buy a few little bits and pieces, see what I make and create. I live at home for college and I always have. So I've never actually like lived in a different space like by myself, especially a different country. Although it's three days, I think it's a really good like start for me to possibly just get a little bit more comfortable with that idea and baby steps, but yeah, loving it so far. I ended up sleeping okay last night. I was a little bit nervous about like nighttime when I start to get a little bit worried and I'm by myself and it's dark. <laughs> But it was fine and I got a really good sleep, so yeah, very happy. But why don't we head out for the day, see what I get up to. So I just checked the weather forecast and it's actually going to be thunder and lightning later. So I'm going to aim to get my groceries and stuff done and back up to the apartment so I can avoid that now. <laughs> Let's do a little bit of a grocery haul. I always get kind of jealous of people doing these because like I live at home So I don't really like the grocery shop isn't like just for me Whereas this grocery shop is just for me. I'm so excited for a little bit of context I had the most amazing pasta the other night here. It was spaghetti, olive oil, butter, garlic, chili, basil. That's it. It's a very famous way of having pasta, but it was like my first time properly having it. So I want to recreate that tonight. So I got a few of those ingredients. First things first, I got a baguette. So good. Next, I got 
a basil plant. If you could smell this, oh my god, it smells so good. I got little shards of parmesan. I got two different types of like ham. Garlic, of course. Spaghetti. I got little mini carrots. I then got some like mini bell peppers. I got some olives because I'm now like a dip olive bread board, cheese board person. That's what happens to you when you're two weeks here. Your taste buds completely evolve. I'm like a new woman. These with my mini carrots, with my baguette, with my parmesan, with my ham, with a glass of rosé later. Stunning, but yeah. That was my little grocery shop. I also got a few things for myself, of course. <laughs> I then went into Sephora and went a little crazy. I got this OPI nail color, the color Bubble Bath. I've seen people talk about this color, but also specifically Hailey Bieber and anything she does, I do. She's got such beautiful nails. Another Hailey Bieber recommendation is this Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer from Giorgio Armani. Let me show you. So it looks like this. I've seen Hayley Bieber use this and then she squirts it into her moisturizer and it just gives her a nice little glow. So I got that. I got a little nail kit for doing my nails later on. And then I got a hair mask from Sephora own brand because my hair is brittle at the moment. But yeah, that's pretty much everything I got. I'm gonna put all of these groceries away now and do a little bit of editing because I need to. But I'll check back in with you guys later when it's time for dinner. currently Thursday morning so it is my last full day and night here in Cannes by myself. Kind of excited to go home because this will be nearly two weeks now that I've been here and I am a little bit of a homebody but at the same time this has been one of my favorite trips of all time. I don't know why I just feel this is gonna be really in the memory books for me. Sorry I just got a text. <laughs> I got a text! I need to stop watching Love Island. It's just so nice having something to watch every night. I really love that especially Disney is making a comeback with episodes coming out weekly rather than just streaming. I really like that. It makes it more entertaining to me. And as a film and television student, I find it fascinating that we're going back to that format. But sorry, that was a little bit of a a little bit of a tangent. I'm gonna have a little bit of a beach day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna get a bed in one of the beach clubs. There's one we really, really like. It's a bit quieter. It's not on the front beach because obviously that's the more popular one, but it's a little bit quieter. So I'm excited to chill out there and it's a Thursday. So hopefully it will still be quiet. Sorry for the construction work. I feel like a vlogger that lives in a city now. Usually you guys get to hear like the birds chirping in the back end of my little country home. 
but no, now you're in the chaos of the big city. So I just showed TikTok what's in my bag. I did a little bit of a video for my beach bag because I always find it a little bit curious what people bring with them. So I'm gonna pack this bag back up, but I'm gonna show you guys what I have in here. Obviously I have my book. I was slow to start into this, but now I'm really, really liking it. And I'm very excited to read this on the beach today. I obviously also have my wallet. I have my bikini. I like to put my bikini on when I get down there simply because I am very prone to UTIs. These are nylon and stuff, so I don't really like to wear these down. I like to wear them for as least time as possible. And I bring my bikini top, so they're going in. I then have this little pouch, which has my headphones and another lens for this camera. And then we have my favorite little category. This is my little favorite bag in the world. You guys know this, it's actually getting a little bit grubby. But I put my little like skincare, hair care, bare essentials within here. I have some deodorant. This deodorant smells amazing it is from the brand Sol de Janeiro I also have their lip balm and this stuff is my favorite lip balm of all time now I put this on all day every day and at night when I put this on I wake up the next morning and my lips are just divine I have one of those little fresh wipes just in case I need it in here also so I have my face sunscreen which is my La Roche Posay and then I have my Claude Lee SPF 50. I got this here. The woman in the pharmacy said this was a really good SPF. I have this little hair mask. I got this yesterday in Sephora. Sticking with hair, I have lots of hair clips and like tie back options. I have this little pouch to put any jewelry in. And then lastly, I have my moisturizer. I also forgot hairbrush, obviously. I just really love coming off of a beach feeling fresh. And most of the time when we come off the beach, we end up stopping for food. So I just like to feel like I'm not still very much in beachwear. Anyway, it's been 10 minutes, I'm sorry, I love you. back from my day on the beach. I contemplated for probably about two hours whether I should go down the street and get some food tonight or come back up and eat some food here. I had leftover pasta from last night that I could heat up. And hold on, this lighting is atrocious. The lighting's a little better, but yeah. For now, it is back to Megan's kitchen because it's the best. Let me show you guys what I have for this evening's grand dinner okay so the same pasta as yesterday i just put more olive oil in a pan a little bit more seasoning and butter and then i put the pasta back in there to heat it up let's hope it's good i then took the olive oil and like the juices at the bottom of the pan and put them on this little plate because i just bought a baguette and the baguette is so warm and lovely so I'm gonna dip that in there. I have some Parmigiano, I have some olives, and then I have some bits of Parmesan to put with bread. For a drink, I'm having Lipton iced tea. I'm pretty happy. It was a beautiful day on the beach. I had, oh my God, there's a cat, there's a cat. There's a cat. Anyway, as I was saying, I had a beautiful day on the beach. I'm about to eat this and I am hungry. Good morning everyone. It is currently five past seven in the morning and I'm gonna go for my final little morning walk around here. This is actually the earliest I've gotten up this holiday. This has very much been a holiday. I haven't been getting up too late. I've been getting up kind of around half eight, nine some days, but yeah, I just thought today I'd wake up nice and early and head down to the beach for a little bit of a walk and just enjoy the quieter mornings and have a little morning to myself because I just kind of want to finish this holiday on 
on a little bit of reflective thinking and I'm gonna head down to the beach to do that. I sound like a main character in the movie, but yeah, I've just gotten changed. Let me show you. Is this what I'm wearing? Cute, right? I'm gonna take my bed sheets off now and wash them so that when I come back, I can get them in the tumble dryer and then get them ironed. on my own Making coffee just for one And eating breakfast all alone Fewer dishes to be done I'm never running behind You're never on my mind longer there to make me comb my hair fix my tie or kiss me goodbye swear i'm happy on my own no one to worry where i am or waiting for me to come home staying up till 3 a.m I'm always out on the town You're nowhere to be found When our song comes on I just I'm along And order another round Hey guys, so it is currently quarter to seven. My alarm is about to go off because I need to be getting an Uber at seven o'clock basically to go to the airport, but this is my current situation. I am still, like I suspected, doing my packing <laughs> last minute. I have been cleaning like a mad woman to get this place. That's my alarm. It's the Finding Nemo soundtrack. Anyway, stop that. So yes, I have 15 minutes. I have to get going. I'm gonna try my best to get all of this back into the bags that I already struggled to bring over because they were so packed. But look, it is what it is. I am looking forward to going home, but then I'm also super sad to be leaving. But I'm gonna leave you guys now because the airport stress me out and the idea of continuing to film in the airport also stresses me out. So yes, I am gonna get going now. I love you all so much. I cannot thank you enough for watching this video and if you've watched all three of my can vlogs, I love you with all my heart and I hope, I hope, I hope you loved them. I had a great time filming them and I hopefully had a good time editing them. Anyway, I love you all to the moon and back. I cannot wait to make more content for you guys. I will be back here on the 1st of September for two weeks with my best friends and then my boyfriend, so I'm super excited for that. It won't be as content heavy because I really want to use it as a holiday before college starts. But yeah, I love you all so, so much and see you when I'm back in Ireland, baby. South of France forever. Bye.